Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a realistic looking mountain, a realistic looking mountain range. So the first thing you have to do is make um, diagonal lines to make up zig a zigzag line, which will make the peaks of your mountains. So you want to make sure that you make your mountains closer to the top of the page than the bottom, but you want to leave enough room so that you still have room for sky. So you're going to make zigzag lines made up by diagonal or slanted lines. You can make as many peaks as you want. They don't all have to be the same size. Some can be shorter, some can be taller. Okay, so here is four different mountain peaks. The next thing you're going to do to make them look more realistic is you are going to make it look like there is a side of the mountain and a front face of the mountain. And to do that, what you need to do is follow each of these diagonal lines. I'll actually use a Sharpie so it's easier to see. Okay, so what you're gonna do is extend this diagonal line down and you will know when to stop when the line that you are extending matches up with this center point of the peak okay so you can take your ruler match it up with this diagonal line that you already made and extend it down And then just do this little test where you take the tip of whatever you're writing with and just drag your hand down and see if it lines up. Really close. I'm just going to add on about a quarter inch to this line. Okay? So now if I go do this test again, perfect. Matches up perfectly. Then what you're going to do is you're going to make a line that connects from this mountain peak down to this line that you just created. And you are going to do this by making kind of a curved or jagged line. You don't want it to be really nice and straight and diagonal. You want it to be kind of curved or jagged. Okay. And so then you could just keep continuing these steps. Match up your ruler with this line that you already made. Extend your line down. You will know when to stop when you do this test. Perfect. All right. Then you can start back up at the top of this mountain peak. Make a curved or jagged line. There's no right or wrong way to make these lines. It actually looks more realistic when you make jagged or curved lines because mountains are rocky and they have like sharp points to them. Usually you won't see them having a perfectly straight side. They're always going to be kind of jaggedy. Okay, now here. Um, if you feel confident with how well you can make diagonal lines now, you don't even have to use a ruler, but it is helpful to use a ruler just to ensure that you're making it nice and neat. So you extend, do your test to see if they match up. Pretty close. Once again, I'm just about a quarter of an inch off. A quarter of an inch is not much at all. It's just from here to here. And then we connect from here to here. I could start down here and connect up to the top. Doesn't really matter. Whatever you prefer. Okay, so that one has more wide curved lines to it. That's fine too. Then the last thing I have to do is go back to my first peak and I have to create the side of the mountain. So There we go. And then from here, I'm just gonna create a diagonal line that connects 
or goes off the edge of the paper. The reason I'm doing this first peak last is because part of this mountain was extending off the paper. So that just makes the directions for it a little bit different. So that's why I did this one last. Because instead of this connecting to a line I already made, it's just gonna stop at the edge of the paper. All right, now if I want to make it look like this area, this area, this, and this are the darker sides of the mountain, that means that they are farthest away from the sun. So if you pretend that your sun is up here, don't actually draw this. I'm just going to draw a sun because I want you to understand something. If this is the sun and it's shining down on these peaks, that would make sense that this would be the brightest side of the mountain, the brightest side, because it is closest to the sun. Now we're gonna shade these sides of the mountain to make them look like they are farther away from the light. It's the dark side of the mountain. You are going to line up your ruler with this line that you already made. This is a very important part of making things look 3D. You always want to fill in or shade something at the same um, direction or of the line that is on the outside of the mountain. Okay, so the most outside line is a diagonal. So I'm just going to continue that same diagonal over and over and over and over till I fill up the space. Okay. Each of these sections is going to be about a quarter of an inch narrow or wide. Remember a quarter inch again is pretty small. It's just from here to here. So then I'm just going to move my ruler a quarter of an inch away. Hold down with one hand so your ruler doesn't move. And you're going to connect from this line to this curved line. Go nice and slow so you don't accidentally go outside of the line. Make sure you're stopping at that curved line that you made. See how I'm trying to keep each of these lines the same distance apart? That's an important thing to do to make it look as neat as possible. And then you would continue that same step for each of these sections. And it makes it look like this is the darker side of the mountain. The more lines you put in here, the darker it's going to look. So if I wanted to make it look even darker, just put another line in between each line that you already made. It's going to make it more shaded make it look darker, and give it the illusion that it is farther away from the sun. Just wanna make sure that these all connect nicely to that outside line. In my opinion, I think it looks better if you have more lines. I just think it looks more finished and it makes it look more realistic. All right, that's all folks.